hate AstroTurf, I would have painted the concrete floor. I'm so sick of everything being described as amazing. Brilliant that George Michael came out of retirement to do this balcony makeover. Table and chairs look cheap, AstroTurf is ugly, not for me. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> right. Well, I'll be ready to react to some hate. I can't wait. Okay. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to quite a different video. Mm -hmm. We've never filmed a video like this before. I'm actually, I mean, I feel a little bit nervous about it. I hope it goes. No, it's quite lighthearted. It's very lighthearted. I do just want to address it now. So as you can tell by the title, we are going to be reacting to some, should we say negative comments? about yeah. our viral video. <laughs> but it wasn't meant to be viral. I know. So basically, um, if you haven't seen the video, I will link it up in the top corner. It's basically myself and Zara transformed. Uh, well, I use the word transformed because apparently it's not a transformation. No, and it's not amazing either. <laughs> basically, we renovated, I don't feel bad saying that, our outside balcony, terrace, fire escape and it has gone down really well in terms of a lot of people have seen it. However, mm. Mm. <laughs> I think it's just a different caliber. It is. Of comments. It is. On Facebook. Yes. So basically, I was reached out by a, a page on Facebook and said, hey, we absolutely loved your YouTube video. Can we share it on our page? Because we think it will really inspire other people to try and transform their balcony. And I said, absolutely 100% go ahead I really want everyone else to just enjoy it and do it themselves and the general response was lovely and the general response on my actual YouTube video has been phenomenal like so many people have been so lovely and that outside space brings us so much joy doesn't it yeah and we I do think a lot of people have said that they have now been given like the oomph to go and do their outside space yes, which is nice exactly and the YouTube video kind of explains it a little bit more but the video that was shared on Facebook <laughs> has been edited down slightly to make it a little bit more quicker, a little bit more snappier, and it's just like a cap, uh, what's a snapshot, sorry, of the transformation. And there's been a lot of comments. It probably didn't work in our favor, looking back, no. because it's like, they paint the sides, yeah. and it fails to show the bit where we did try to prep. We are, what we're gonna do, we've both got our phones, it's been shared on quite a few sites on Facebook, so we're going to go through the comments and um, we're going to read you some of them. Now, massive disclaimer before we get started, this is by no means me normalizing negative comments or hate messages because I'm very thick-skinned, as are you, mm -hmm. and we've both experienced some comments that aren't particularly nice to read. However, we still do digest them and we are very lucky that we both have a quite a tight-knit support network, so we just pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off. I'm not normalizing hate, I'm not an advocate of writing these kinds of comments online. I just thought it would Plus, be- Plus, it's not really at us. No, it's, it's at more a so, space, it's which a space. I think yeah. touches it more. Yeah. It's not really about us. It's more so us just making this a little bit more lighthearted. And if this isn't your video, then by all means do just click off. It's not your jam. If it brings back any old memories or anything, just, yeah, don't watch it. But um, we're just gonna have a laugh because I've spent my morning looking through some of the comments and they are, they're brilliant. Okay, so we found some of the videos that have been shared. And so, like I say, a lot of the comments have been lovely. And the total of views, including my YouTube video and these sites that have shared this video in total amount to nearly, is it 10 million views? No, it's 25 million. There's been 25 million views in total, which makes me feel a bit clammy. I've got some comments. <laughs> Do you have some comments? Yeah. So, okay, this one kept coming up. My opinion, should have power washed and deep cleaned first. All that grime and dirt left underneath. And then. Right. So we've had a lot of those. We have. We have. And a lot of people have said that we should have power washed and jet washed the balcony fire escape. I also don't think this smaller video is specified that we rent. We do rent. So we, we don't own a power washer. <laughs> and we did brush all of the cobwebs and all of the muck away you guys will have seen. And we laid it with AstroTurf, so whether we cleaned it or not, it, it doesn't just, matter. Yeah. But what are um, the, the comments actually? So then are? that paint would last, won't last long either, since the bottom layer is already chipping. Whatever it was for the gram, anyway. Oh dear. I've just had someone say, just wait a little while as the carpet holds water and we'll rust the metal floor out and you step in a hole when it was rusted and you break your leg. I know as I used to replace the metal plates, also, concrete decks will have holes in them too after years of rain and heavy people. Heavy people? <laughs> heavy people? 
In other words, you are very heavily set. The metal decking under the concrete will rust and you will step in a hole. To which there's been eight replies. It's got a canopy over it. Thank, Thank you. you. Our outside balcony has a canopy. It doesn't get wet. Literally, in a garden, if you have an outside garden space and you have outdoor furniture, just bring it inside. We're doing the same. We're doing the exact same. It looks great, but not at all safe for kids. They could climb on the chairs or benches and fall over the edge. I think we just need to specify we, we don't, don't have, have kids. children. And then like, oh, they have kids? I must have missed that part. And then some of they don't have kids. They share an apartment together. <laughs> With about, I get it, but I mean, we have neighbours over the road of us who have kids and they operate in a balcony, you've just got to be a bit safe. I hate AstroTurf, I would have painted the concrete floor and then someone's put, that's not concrete, that's steel plate, needs some heavy rust proofing. You're right, I miss that, I still hate AstroTurf. Why have people got such a horrible <laughs> hatred towards AstroTurf? Probably because people that hate AstroTurf are those that spend months working on their grass, but I don't know how women to create <laughs> Grow grass. grass in a balcony in London. We rent in a bowl. Oh God. Someone put, following a number of serious house fires in blocks of flats where the oh. fire spreads rapidly from balcony to balcony, the Ministry for Housing, Communities and Local Government produces advice and note on balconies of residential buildings which states balconies should be kept clear of combustible items and ignition sources. So that lot will have to go, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Okay, so. That's we, lying. That is very correct. That is very correct. We, when we, when I viewed this property, I asked the estate agent and they said it has to remain a safe exit. It has to remain and function as a fire escape. When you come out of our back door, the fire exit stairs are there. That is just an they addition. They have no actually to have there's, no, there's no, there's nothing blocking the whole exit. You can get down the stairs in, I'd say, six seconds. So if, unless people think that we walk onto our AstroTurf and jump to, off the Ottoman to, to escape. The, to, to down three stories, then we're fine. We're absolutely fine. That, that balcony provides nothing in terms of accessibility. The only window that you can jump out of is a tiny cubicle window, which I couldn't even get through. No, neither could I. So again. I'm so sick of everything being described as amazing. Wow. Brilliant that George Michael came out of retirement to do this balcony makeover. <laughs> <laughs> I read with Zara, I'm not gonna lie, that's not the first time I've heard that. Zara read me that comment. So many people say I look like George Michael. Why? I'm George Michael is still sadly very much I dead. I have one. Yeah, that looks like sh Enjoy those panoramic views of a council estate garage block, won't you? Laughing face poo emoji. There's four replies to that comment. There is, say? there's four replies to that comment and put, lovely views of the block of garages just waiting to be set on fire. <laughs> 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 Together with the ambience of foul aroma emitting from that lovely black waste pipe, oh yes, they're living the dream, all right. Sadly, I, we do live in London and we do peer £1,400 a month, yes that is correct, to live in a two bedroom flat in central London and we don't have a garden. So if we have- And if we wanted a garden- We'd probably have to be millionaires. We'd be paying nearly double. Yes, and some. So if our little haven outside is Brings overlooking a little car park and a council estate it's block- It's not a council estate block. <laughs> it isn't. And if you want to set fire to those garages, I, I think that's not great. That's arson. <laughs> What have you got? Looks amazing, made me laugh when the lady couldn't open the chair. Right, those <laughs> Ikea chairs. I actually <laughs> beg people to take a trip to Ikea and just try. And then someone said, she struggled opening the packaging and putting a cushion in place, so the chair was always going to be a step too far. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I do struggle with basic things, but there's honey. No needs, there's no need. Uh, someone's put, that guy isn't exactly a DIY champion. How many of him would it take to change that light bulb? I mean, that's actually not true. I am terrible at DIY. Can't stand watching non-painters who think they can paint, bad prep so it will peel, and didn't do the underside so the water will soak in and rot on the wood. Not to mention the paint on the brick. It's not bad looking, but they need a little research so it lasts longer than a few months. Right. I mean, we used masonry paint and we wiped the ledges and 
it's Again, fine. Again, we rent. We can't we then can't start, start sanding, sanding things. We can't start things down. We rent. I mean, we put this shelf up. We're probably going to get told off for this, but we'll fill it and paint over it, and they'll yeah. never know. We can't. Oh, good Lord. A host of missed opportunities. Boxes, baskets on balcony rails and or window ledges, trellises with climbers on brick wall and so on forever. Nevertheless, it's a learning curve. Good luck. Do you know, Do you know what? It's, it's meant to be nice. It it's is. so sarcastic. It's, hard. it's so passive aggressive. Like, Good luck. I love YouTube and you guys are so supportive and we are going to film another terrace updated video of all of the comments that we had. They've been really like beneficial we bought a trellis and we've bought some cushions to pop on this we were in lockdown and we couldn't get to any stores so we literally just had to make do with what we had <laughs> i can't believe how long and pointless this video was just watching that horrible paintbrush in use was enough to take me out jesus please who would have thought by adding plants and seeding wow i'm truly shocked they are so clever never been done before thank you thank you very much that's very kind As someone put I like how she couldn't even get the chair open and had to have him do it. You're getting a lot of stick by not being able to open them chairs. I'm sorry that my guns aren't quite up for it. <laughs> Table and chairs look cheap. AstroTurf is ugly. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was short and sweet. Someone's put, George Michael has a son. <laughs> Why are so many people saying... I'm like George Michael. What if the wind blows in the rain and pigeons might make a nest? These people think that. Don't think that. <laughs> Well, you know what, you're right. We didn't think about pigeons making nests on our balcony. Oh my lord, this is- I'm- and said their name. I was so impressed with the finished result, I'd like to buy the company. The company? We don't own a company. <laughs> we may be- We're being sure. rented out! <laughs> so a bit of artificial grass, some fold-out chairs and some cushions. Be careful, Da Vinci. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, can't believe the transformation. You two sure you're not from the year 2930? That's like nothing we've seen in our lifetime. I don't understand. Help! Oh god. Bore off, just glad I didn't watch it all. Oh, I mean, it was a two minute video. I'm really glad you saved yourself the time. So a lick of paint, some artificial grass, a bit of Ikea furniture, some solar lights from Pound Stretcher, and we have our very own DIY SOS team for the £100 submitting videos to cover all of the costs. Can we please just say we- We weren't paid. We get the £100. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, well done on the £100, and it's like, well, I, no. the company, the, the, the brand that reached out to me, I didn't realise the, the paid people for such amazing videos, I would never accept payment because it's just a video, but what on earth? Someone's <laughs> now to build some furniture, removes two ottomans from package, pulls outside tables, puts a lid on, then proceeds to unfold a table and struggle with unfolding chairs. That, that, that part of that video has truly, that, that's, that's got people. Yeah, that has, that got, has people. got people triggered. So it's what I would have painted and stenciled the windowsills, added a large mat, used plants a bit more, add more colour, a large lentil, used the wall space and painted the masonry paint if allowed to. But it still looks better. Right. There was one, I'm not sure where the comment is, when somebody told us to remove our railings. Do you remember that one? Oh yeah, yeah, someone literally asked us to remove our railings, which is great. Guys, we've just read a comment and I actually don't think I can put it in this video, it's actually... <laughs> Okay, so that is us having a little bit of fun on a Sunday, trying to lighten up the fact that we have made a 30 million viewed viral video. It's not right. And it's caused about as much aggravation it's as- It's caused some family arguments, clearly. As Brexit. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, that's how you deal with some online negative comments. Thank you all so much for your lovely comments on YouTube. They all do seem to be really lovely. And um, yeah, if you do want to check out the really, by the sounds of things, controversial balcony video, I will link it down below. <laughs> and we are going to do a balcony update as well, which is coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it and you've had a bit of a laugh, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll catch you all very soon. Thank you for having a laugh with me. Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll try better next time. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>